I don't know about this NBA in season cup, Vlad. The more and more I, I like start it. looking into it, the more and more I'm agreeing with you that it looks like it's kind of. Mm, mm, mm. And don't say, oh no, the NBA will get it right. Did you see the trophy? No, I don't need to see the trophy. It looks like it's kind of a. Mm, and don't say, oh, the NBA always gets it right because the All Star game is kind of. Mm, mm, well, oh. They don't get it right. The players don't care. Yeah, they just don't. I mean, they, they make too much money. No, I mean, I understand it's regular season games and it's kind of a tournament. And I'm guessing that. But I mean, like if you're leading the league, are you going to go all out and try to play these extra? I'm telling you, these are for the bad teams, teams bro. This yeah. is for the bad teams. This these is for are, the Portland Trailblazers. This is for like Portland when they make the trade for Dame. You have Scoot Anderson. You have um, Anthony Simons. Right. Jeremy Grant. Yeah. I'm just, but the young talent and the other guard that I always mess up his names, uh, Sharp. So you have those three players. Those are the type of, or or the Orlando Magic. Right. OKC. OKC's though, they're pretty decent though. Detroit. Those teams. Detroit, yeah. Those are the type of tournaments because, yeah, it's a regular season game, but if they upset you, they're going to be like, oh, wow, this is like, it's a two for one deal. So those are the teams that are probably going to go crazy for that tournament so that you can yeah. give that fan base something to look forward to. I just don't see the heat and the nuggets. No, I reg- I understand pool play, which is regular season games. It goes towards regular season. You're going to care. But in these knockout games, I just don't see teams like the nuggets and the heat being like, oh, we got to win these games, man. We got to get it through this tournament. We want that trophy. I don't know what prestige. I thought that maybe like the winner of the tournament would get like an automatic bid to a play in game or something like that. But apparently, no, it's just it's just a tournament. It's a trophy. And I know everybody's competitive and everybody wants to win, but there's going to be load management. And I don't know. It just feels as though it's undercooked. You feel the same way? A little bit undercooked. I don't even think it's cooked. I don't even think it's seasoned. It's nothing. It's Listen, and I said this about the plan. And though I, it's been interesting and exciting to watch the plan, I'm still against it. You're really? I, I don't mind it. Fam, if you play 82 games and I got – one of the eight best records in whatever conference I'm in, why do I need to play an extra game? What's the point of having those regular season games? Trying to make it exciting. That's just what No, if you finish number 10 and I'm seven games better than you, I don't have to play you. Well, the reason they do that is to keep more fan bases in the into the game. That, well, exactly. Because exactly. more people will continue to watch and you have hope and you hope you're making it Which in. is why I feel that this play in this, in this tournament this in-season tournament is for the bad teams. It is. It's 100% for the bad teams. It's for the Houston Rockets you, you, now. You think the Nuggets are going to have a parade or the Heat are going to have a parade down Biscayne if we win the inaugural mid-season NBA basketball tournament? You think they're even going to put up a banner? I mean, we got Michael Jordan's banner. and I don't know. what. what. Sergey, you're saying this is, it's like a part. It's not even a participation tournament because it's, you, the game still count. Like, you're trying to make your own. Oh, no, the game counts for two for one. The NBA is trying to let us know, oh, no, this, there's, a, there's so much importance in the game. Man, please. I'm not high on this play-in tournament, but maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll be wrong, and maybe it'll be okay once it gets going. But for right now, everything I'm seeing. Like, would you be excited if New Orleans win? No. I would actually kind of be shamed. <laughs> like, dude, like, this is the high point of our organization that we want to play in middle season tournament. And, like, and, 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 and what if during this tournament? Because now if you win, whoever wins the group play plays uh, the eight teams play a single elimination. What about what if they get hurt during that single right. elimination tournament? They, yeah. That's like, a good question. Getting hurt during the regular season is bad, obviously, for any team. It's not good. But, it, you know, okay, the game. The, the game. Knockout league, game. Right. The, the game is two for one. So it's a, it's going gonna, it's gonna to count for the regular season. But once, okay, say that you win because you go, you want to win. You gonna you want to win your regular season game. But say right. That you you want to win your group. Right. But no. Not even the group. You just want to win the game. It just so happens that the the win counts for a win in the group as well. I don't think these guys really want to oh play an elimination game against some other team that's not going to count. No, no. To move on. Okay, fine. Oh well, you guys uh, spend five days in Vegas. Man, yeah, these guys, they're, yeah, they're acting like oh, you get a free trip to Vegas. Man, these these are professional to, athletes. They go to Vegas anytime. They got private jets. I mean, we're not sixteen-year-old kids <laughs> getting a free trip to Vegas. It doesn't excite an NBA athlete. UCF, Andy, it does count for the regular season. That's great. I get it, but okay. But once you, if so, you win your so-called group. Now you got to play a single elimination game in a tournament for what? For a part. I don't even think it's a participation tournament. 
I want to ask you this. If the Heat do go on to win this inaugural in-season tournament, do they put up a banner in the Kaseya Center commemorating that? I don't think so. Or maybe it's on one of those banners where they've won the division or whatever. They just kind of stick, you know, 2023 in-season tournament champs or something up there. But I don't think there's a lot. There's a lot. Like, you really want to be the, oh, my God, uh, we won the inaugural NBA in-season tournament? Like, you want, you're going to put a banner? Man, we, we got swept out of the first round of the playoffs. But, hey, we won the in-season tournament. Hey. Vegas is going to get an, David Lee. Vegas is going to get an NBA team regardless. Maybe. I don't know. I think they have to wait till Seattle. I think Seattle might be the first and the next expansion team or the next team mm -hmm. or team might move to Seattle. What do we say? Within the next 10 years, all major sports will be will in Vegas. In Vegas. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they should be. I mean, they're getting baseball. They've already got. They got the they got football and they got hockey. They they got all, football, they, all, hockey. all they're missing is basketball because the A's are moving to Vegas. Yep. All they're missing is basketball. And uh, a soccer team, MLS team. So that's easy enough done. I mean, it's a great idea because, look, if you and I go to Vegas, Vlad, of course, we're going to be living the life. We're going to be gambling. We're going to be partying all night. But one of the days we're going to carve out time, whatever team's in town, we're going to go watch a game. I'm going to Vegas this year. And you're going to go to a game. Yeah, I'm going to go see Jets, uh, Jets Raiders Sunday night. Exactly. So it, it actually does make a lot of sense to have the teams there. I know back in the day, kind of shied away from it because the whole gambling That's aspect. Great. Just but put it's a, a different world now. Then put a damn team in, in Vegas and have them play. That's it. I don't need this in-season tournament, what, this is going to generate ratings? Like, people really going to be like, ooh, nope. Come on, man. Nope. No, it's for the bad teams. It's a regular season game. What are you going to, what are you going to spice it up? Oh, the Heat versus the Bucks. Wait, I don't, I don't even know what group. I know, I think the Heat are in the same group. The, the Knicks. Knicks. Yeah. Heat and the Knicks. Oh, oh, this Friday night game on ESPN. But it means also, uh, whoever wins gets a win in the group play. Ooh, tune in to watch out. The two for one special. Get the hell out of my face with that BS. Man. It doesn't add any value. All I want is the regular season win. I'm gonna go to the regulars. I'm gonna go watch the teams play because it's a regular, know, season, it's a game. regular season game. You're gonna watch. You don't gotta incite it. You listen, you don't want you don't want you want, you want me to watch? Have these have these guys be healthy, have these guys play. That's all I need to do. Because all it's going to do is cause further That's load That's all you management. need to do. It's going to cause all. further load management. That's exactly. You think LeBron's going to want to play in an in-season tournament? The man don't even like the play-in game. You think, come on. They're you not. think the Clippers with all them broken superstars are going to want to play in an in-season tournament? Best player of all time. You think Joel Embiid? You think Jokic? Come on. You think, you think Kawhi really, Leonard? You think Jimmy really wants to play in an in-season tournament? No. You think Riles really want to win an in-season tournament? Like I said, if they win, I don't even know if a good banner goes up. What do they do with the trophy even? Like, yeah, here go, congratulations. Not, not the most exciting thing. But we'll see. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we'll watch this in-season tournament and say, we were wrong. That was awesome, In-season tournament stinks. Awesome. No, I don't think we're going to do that. I don't like it.